Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, Saga Anderson is wandering through the woods. Uh, Nightingale and apparently the Cult of the Tree are present around here. And. Somewhere is uh, Saga's partner, Alex Casey, who uh, wandered off into the woods after hearing a sound. I really, really don't like that it started raining again as I approached the lake's edge. The closer you get, the harder it rains. It's only raining on the lake. Well, it's not a poster, it's a framed picture, for starters. There's a bucket. There isn't actually a mop in here. The poster doesn't seem important, it's a random building. those anyway cookies like breaded fish I don't know actually yeah I got a fucking shotgun man Okay, fine, fine, fine. We're heading down to the witch's ladle. No, no, no. I have a document to look at. Why? Oh, yes, the cult of the tree. Tri triangle figure is made from twigs. Cult symbol. What's the purpose? Marking territory? A warning? Feels derivative, like something out of a horror movie. I, I was thinking it kind of reminded me of the like, imagery I've seen surrounding uh, the Blair Witch Project, though I haven't actually seen that movie, so I uh, didn't think it was my place to say anything. Shout out to Justin Jones, by the way. He says, well, at least it's not a gene stealer cult. I was going to say that it isn't a chaos cult either, but given what just happened with Nightingale, I am getting serious Neverborn demon vibes. Oh, and speaking of me not knowing anything about horror movies, also, wasn't there a triangle symbol in some of the paranormal activity movies? And, uh, shout out to Roshan, who says, If Alan set up what happened for control, then would that mean none of the workers there could have ever have control of the situation? And I very much like that, because it is very much in keeping with a number of, uh, control-related, uh, bits of wordplay that showed up in the, uh, throughout the game. You know, as one example, it was revealed that, uh, when the FBC took in Jesse's brother and began experimenting on him, they deliberately left her out in the world so that she would serve as a control group to their study. I didn't actually walk up to the tree after getting that note. I might... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the shoddy out. For a second, I thought she was just letting the end of it dangle into the, uh, the water, which would be dumb. I mean, I don't know shit it would fuck all when it comes to guns, but I do know you're not supposed to get them wet. Saw a thing where someone tried to fire a uh, breech shotgun on Mythbusters, and the thing fucking exploded. All right. Oh, that's what that button does. Fuck! I only have one of those segments left.
I'm going to use the thing, because I don't know how long... ...it takes. Why would they call it the Witch's Ladle? It doesn't shape it anything like a ladle. I do not know how long it takes, and I don't want to do it, and I don't want to find out while Nightingale is rushing me. Honestly, about as long as it did in the first game, and I think with the same sound effect. Uh... And now I'm just missing something. I came all the way back here. Well, I've got X's on... Oh, those are, uh... No. I was gonna say those are save points. Well, not even save points, just like the, the lights. Except there was one in front of the general store, and so that's not it. Arg, This is frustrating! Maybe it's this area down here? I go back to the murder side. What am I missing? Track Nightingale, a cauldron lake, interpret the page's meaning. I mean, I need to get the heart, yes, but I need to find him to get the heart. Uh, no, that doesn't tell me anything. Oh, she's actually reading the message off of the heart. And Ellen very cleverly does not tell me the first part of the incantation, so that I can't skip ahead. Fuck. I still don't have enough to upgrade anything, I just want to look at sawed-off shotgun. Fluid motion increases reload speed. Out of action deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. Ready <clears throat> ready for more. Kill an enemy to restore health. The amount of restored health depends on the strength of the enemy. I don't think that makes any sense, but I'm not going to question it. Well, shit. I'm going back to the murder site, because I have fuck all else to do. Um... I suppose I'll take a detour by the, uh, the witch's hut to see what that is, right next to it on the left. Wait a minute. No, I guess it goes into the dark. Fine. I hate that. Lowering the flashlight as you run. Why would you do that? down and he's doing the fucking backstroke across the lake. Shoots water out of the hole in his chest like a fucking dolphin. All right. No, no. If you humor me, Burning Dog fans, I'm suddenly wondering if there was a clue on the sign itself. 
Ah, oh, if I could navigate worth a damn. I mean, I get the impression they did that intentionally. That's why you don't get a mini-map or anything. Alan at least got a circle with a dot on it pointing in the direction of your next uh, objective. All right, Barbara, what do you got for me? Uh-huh. Fuck! She killed the sheriff drowning him in the lake, and she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. I need to find that. Where the hell would that be? Disappointed I couldn't see a circle on the other side. It did have a fucking hole in it, after all. I'm not sure whether I'm swearing more uh, f uh, frequently because I'm annoyed or because I'm nervous. Is that goddamn shoebox for starters? Well, you know what I bet? I bet that's something they make in Finland, whatever that is. I guess it was never going to be as easy as that, was it? Walking in here and finding it? No, 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 no. She's got a lockbox somewhere. I will check down by the edge of the lake again. I haven't been there in a little bit. No footprints, just checking. Remember, kids, it's not the water that's evil. I can't walk out into the water at this point, so... Because it drops off. Or, you know, it's e incredibly evil, and I can sense that. One or the other. Hey, I found a thing. Haven't been totally wasting my time. God damn you. <laughs> well... I can't go over there. Fuck! I guess I should have gone down that way when it was less flooded. I don't love this. all the joy of not knowing what you're supposed to be doing added with the additional stress of knowing that people are watching you. In front of me.
There was another one next to the FBC station. I'll go look up there. Another one of those X's. Is it really just a matter of heading back to the parking area? or tails out of hey the door is open that's a very small area so I'm just gonna go ahead and switch with the shotgun oh look at that it's full of advanced machinery weird oh god let me guess it's a slightly redacted document no it isn't maintenance note clear signs of tampering signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours I fixed it so any alerts will come our way but it's definitely concerning I'll make a report to the investigations department as if they don't have enough work to do leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this things if you're reading this check for tampering we may want to put more secure metal casings around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore Stephen Lynn chief technician My shoes are squeaking after coming in from the wet. That's really funny. I mean, the FPC looks at it all like it's science and not magic. But they are smart enough at least to leave a fucking flashlight inside the room for uh, whoever is stationed here. Easter eggs over here. I didn't notice those the first time. Have a heroic day. Fuck. Hmm. Okay, so I checked, and it might be that I'm being an idiot. Just the carefulest, gentlest peek. I got absolutely nothing, except that I think I was supposed to do something here. Oh, fucking A, look at that. Murder at Cauldron Lake. Cauldron Lake Witch's Hut. So I couldn't... The page from the Witch's Hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. What is the ritual? It's very annoying to me that uh, I couldn't do that until I actually put the pieces on the wall. That's uh, not great. I don't love that. I found a page talking about a ritual of the witch's ladle. Is this how Nightingale got past the rock, or is this the, that entrance... Sorry, is that the entrance to the overlap? This is, yeah, this is what happened when I couldn't get out of the fucking uh, autopsy room. Morgue, that's the word. Uh, I... I guess I need to pay more attention to the fucking wall. I, I, th I really thought this was just a place to collect your thoughts and make sure you know what's going on. No, 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 no. This, you, I guess this is literally Saga's thought process, so if I don't do this, she doesn't get it. Uh, she squinted to read the smudged line of the heart. The second part recited from memory, and the line... Words on the heart. Looks like those words tattooed in the heart are a part of the ritual. Which is Ladle si uh, towering over Saga, watching her in the witch, Nightingale's heart, a cold dead lump in her hands. So my apologies for that. I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's Ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Ritual. Nightingale's Get heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Uh, ritual give witch heart. Recite words. Which equals witch's ladle sign. Where is heart? Words illegible? Oh, the, I didn't even notice that. The questions change color, I guess, when I put all the available things on them. But I can also do some profiling. I really wish that fruit fly would fuck off and stop trying to land on my monitor. The heart. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. The heart! Where is it? Nightingale's heart. Where is it? 
Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. I looked directly into that freezer, and it wasn't there, and we just watched it fucking appear in the freezer, and... Oh, boy. I really don't like the characterization on Nightingale, I gotta tell you. Like, seriously. I need to check the general store for the heart. Huh? Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. Oh. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Well, I guess there's that. Uh, Alex Casey in the novels was a, uh, you know, in Al Alan's novels was a one-to-one -one version of Max Payne up to and including the part where uh, his first real adventure began with his wife and uh, infant daughter being murdered. So honestly, him being divorced is a big step up for this character. Uh, yes, yes. I need to pay more attention to the crazy wall. What is it actually called? The caseboard wall, yes. I think of it as a crazy I wall. I mention the general store. I need to check it out. Yeah, we, d we just determined that saga, thank you. I was paying attention. I think I hear one of them inside. Why do I keep thinking shotgun is up? Did I do that in another game? Well, there was no one in there the last time I walked in, so I better put my flashlight away and... Distortions or ripples in the air. I hear whatever that is. Oh, it's the heart itself. Great! Oh, I see. I need to burn it. Hey, there's a heart in there now. Weird. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. Ugh. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. A few people have commented on I the need fact. To get the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. On the fact that. Saga and Casey have been thrown in at the deep end very quickly compared to the first game. You know, Alan was left to wander around for a few days thinking he was going insane before it's- Oh no, now you have to fight monsters that disintegrate when you kill them. No, no, something supernatural is going on here. But we were barely here for a couple hours and, uh... <laughs> Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. I feel like what was supposed to happen... 
was that I was supposed to go to the witch's hut, you know, get that stuff, go to the uh, case board, put that on there, come here, and then fight the, uh, the the cultist, get the heart, and do it all in one go. So again, apologies, Burning Dog fans. I am not a perfect person. Heart was left in a refrigerator. Where is the heart? How did this get from the mor it get here from the morgue? Did Nightingale hide it here? Words on the heart are legible now. Words on the heart. Sounds literary. But what does it mean? The words. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, which show me the terror. How is this possible? Did the page do this? The heart is somewhere in the general <sighs> store. Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. Heart was in a fridge at the abandoned general store. Who put it there? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Yeah, that really could be anybody. I have no idea if it's the voice actor for uh, Robert Nightingale from the original game or not. One thing I'm pleased with is that uh, we are definitely not going to be hearing from uh, Dr. Emil Hartman again. After how hard uh, he was beaten in uh, Control. But uh, yeah, the real life more bummer reason is that uh, his voice actor died of COVID. I think it was COVID. And rest in peace to him. He was a great villain. Just a real son of a bitch. Like I said, he was straight up gaslighting Alan, but what he was trying to make him believe was that all the supernatural nonsense was a delusion, and that in reality, he'd murdered his missing wife. So yeah, he's a real piece of garbage. It even said on, one, on the page that described Hartman getting uh, thrown out a window by the Dark Presence, I allowed myself a small smile. And what do you know? Alan did, in fact, grin. No, 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 too far. Don't forget to save often. Always, he keeps putting the fucking mouse cursor in the middle of the screen, so it keeps assuming I mean the third slot, not the first one. It's shotgun time. Fat son of a bitch. Oh, I really hope the goddamn crows aren't back. They used to send entire swarms of the things at me, and they just burn up when I pointed the flashlight at them. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. Now we've got our bearings. See, it's time to go face the music. Take care, Burning Dog fans. And like Saga, stay in the light. <laughs>